it's going on YouTube. We got the front clip back on the caprice. Just to uh, see how everything fits up. Everything's looking pretty good. Got the uh, dual cold air intake right there. It's going to work. Just got to relocate the battery to the trunk. So that was my plan. That's uh, works out pretty good for me. And the uh, radiator and electric fans do clear. So there's no problem for that. I got the wire harness all wired up. It's ready to go. I just have to, uh, the other, uh, about 10 more wires I got to put into the actual car, splice them into the car. But, um, I ain't in no rush. I got most of the hard part done. I just got to wire up electric fans, wire that up, throw my headers back on, a couple of little tidbits and tads, doodads, and, and all that stuff. But, yeah, it's uh, looking pretty good. So, the uh, homemade do-it-yourself PVC cheap intake is going to work. So, I, I ain't too mad. But the bad thing about it, the hood does not close unless I take that cover off. But that ain't going to be a problem because it's going to get a hood scoop later on. So, for right now, I'll run it without the uh, cover. But right now, I mean, it looks good like that. I'm, I'll just keep it like that. That way I can admire it when I come out here. But let me show y'all what I'm going to do for the radiator. <clears throat> it's the 86 stock uh, radiator you get from the parts store. You ordered, you said you got an 86 Caprice. This is what they give you. And uh, this is the uh, dual electric fan I'm, I'm going to be running. Hopefully it works out for me. Hopefully it works. Pulled it out of a uh, Dodge and Trepid we have. It's been sitting out in the yard for a number of years. So I went ahead and pulled the fan off, see if this works. And it fits right in there in between uh, the little grooves of each side of the radiator just gotta had to force it in there a little bit but i, I think it's gonna work should be all right just gotta figure out a way to keep it secure and uh let me show you what i got right here uh this one i'm gonna run for the steam vent tube line a little piece of heater hose this bushing looks like this without the nipple and it's got threads inside so i just thread that on into the hose clamp it and then throw this into the bushing and then go ahead and put my hose on there and call it a day. That's what I'm gonna do for steam vent too. That's it for that. Let me show y'all one other little thing that y'all can y'all can try out if y'all want to. Did this a while back, but it's gonna help if I ever need to change it out. It's a, a little trap door for the uh fuel pump. Right there. Right now it's just just little metals just sitting on top. But I what I plan on doing, I'm gonna put hinges right there at the top right here. That way I can hinge it up. And then uh if I'm done messing with it and I'll just seal it up with some uh metal working duct tape and just seal it up and just leave it leave it as it is. But yeah, I'm gonna figure out how to run this battery to the back. Gotta order me some uh some zero gauge wire. Just suffice enough to keep it powered up part of the car and everything zero gauge should work just fine but that's about it uh go ahead and make this short that's how it's gonna work the hood closes up and everything with this intake thing it don't look like it might it might not but it fits right in there and it closes right up all right y'all well we got a little shaky right there at the end earthquake all right y'all y'all have a good one i appreciate everybody subscribing showing me love the last couple weeks y'all keep me motivated to get this thing done so Let's keep on getting, let's get our cars out on the road. Let's do this. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Y'all take it easy.